it probably looks that way from the outside, yeah. Um, we didn't get many wickets in the second innings in Brisbane, and we didn't get many here this week. So it's definitely been hard work for our guys. But once again, I think it's just been uh, been execution that's let us down there. Um, because I don't think that the England side anyway have particularly got that much more firepower in their bowling attack than what we have. I just think they've been able to execute things better. Um, and the England batsmen have put our bowlers under more pressure than what our batsmen have put up their bowlers under. So, um, yeah, there's a great challenge there. One, for the batting group to stand up and start putting some pressure back on the England bowlers with some, with some partnerships and with some individuals doing some special things. And I think the bowling group, we just have to be able to execute things better for longer periods of time. I know I keep coming back to that, but that's really what Test Cricket's all about. more bold in selection, like making lots of changes, you mean, or? Uh, I don't know if we've ever been safe with how we pick teams. We pick teams to win test matches, that's the bottom line. That's, um, you know, every guy that I've um, played with for Australia, I feel, has got the ability to be able to, to win a test match for Australia. Um, and that's the way we always look at selections. Um, hence the changes we made this week. We felt that we were making changes here that were going to give us the best chance to take 20 wickets on that, uh, on that wicket out there. That wasn't the case. Um, so I'm sure there'll be some, some good conversation tonight between Andrew and myself, and I'm sure through by, with the selectors as well about what needs to happen as far as selection is concerned for Perth. But at the end of the day, whatever 11 players are selected, I expect that they can do the job for Australia. Um, this week we haven't done that, and it's about finding the attitude, because I know the ability's there, it's about finding the attitude to get that job done. It's certainly a great challenge for me. Um, don't worry about the winning the games. I've got to make some runs as well. Simple as that. Um, you know, to make uh, to make no, nine runs in two innings out there on that wicket in this game is nowhere near good enough um, for me. And my expectations of myself are a lot higher than that. Um, so there's a great challenge for me there to score runs. But there's a great challenge for the for, for me to captain the side well in Perth and and give the guys the best chance to to work get our way back into the series. You know, as you say, we have to win two games um, and we have to play good cricket to win a single game. So. Um, Look, I think we've all confronted great challenges in the past. Is it this my biggest challenge? I'm not sure if it's the biggest one. Uh, it's certainly a big challenge and one that I'm looking forward to and I know the rest of the guys are as well. Yeah, I guess when you're in a position that, they, that the England team were in, I'm not sure if he was under a huge amount of pressure. It wasn't as if they were, you know, we needed 150 to win and he had to go and bowl us out. I mean, they had plenty of runs and plenty of time. But the way he bowled, I thought, was very good. Um, a, a wicket that certainly helped helped him. Um, Dougie Bollinger's footmarks sort of come into play for him nicely. So, uh, no, look, he bowled very well. And he, he bowled the way that we'd expect him to bowl. The guy that's done as well as he's done in international cricket for the last couple of years, the confidence that he has in himself um, and the confidence that uh, that his captain and his, his teammates have in him, I think that was there to, to see today. And um, it, I thought he bowled very well, as, as did their whole bowling group. I thought even with Broad down this morning, um, the way they've executed things well uh, through this game has been uh, something for all of us to sit back and look at. I don't think there's been one particular thing with the actual makeup of their team. Um, once again, no surprises there with their makeup because we'd, we'd seen enough of all of these players before to understand what they're capable of. I mean, I, you know, one thing that Alistair Cook's played very, very well, there's no doubt in that. I mean, his second innings in Brisbane, well, even his first innings in Brisbane was pretty good as well in trying conditions. His second innings was outstanding, and the way he started here was probably as, as assured as I've seen him look at the start of his innings. So he's definitely played very well. Um, Trot got off to a good start the other day. We put him down early on. If we take that catch, it might have been two for 40. Things might have been different. They're the little things that we've got to start getting better at, you know. And, and we had similar chances in Brisbane in the second innings up there as well. We had a couple of tough chances that went down, but um, 
I don't think there's anything, one thing in particular. I just think that they're playing well as a group. They're obviously confident. They know they're playing well as well. Um, and that's, uh, that's the thing that we have to change. We have to get that feeling around our team and try and take it away from England somehow. Look, he'll be he'll be a bit disappointed, I guess, with with his week's work here as well. Um, if you look at everything that Marcus does with his preparation and the way he hits the ball in the nets and even the way he starts his innings, is like it just looks like he's going to score runs for you all the time. Um, unfortunately, con you know, consistency for him, as he admitted to the other day, has been one thing that's probably plagued him right through his his first class career, not just his international career. So. I still believe that he's got great value to the team. A guy that's um, made as many hundreds as he has in the amount of test matches that, he, that he's played uh, indicates that he's got what it takes to be a very good and very successful international player. So, um, look, he's in the same boat as me this week, I guess. We, we didn't score the runs that we should have scored on that wicket. Ricky, you mentioned how much of a big loss Caddy is. Are there any other records around the country that, uh, I guess, fill that void? Well, Phil Hughes is the first one that comes to mind. Um, we know what his international record is like. Um, he made a good 80 in his last, uh, in the second innings of the game in Hobart against England as well. Um, he made 80 odd not out, I think, in a one day for New South Wales the other day. So he's got a few runs under his belt lately. Um, he's probably the, the, the first cab off the rank, if you like, that the selectors will be talking about. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll uh, as I said, I'll talk to Andrew about that in, uh, in the near future, but uh, I'll be surprised if it's not him that come in. I thought he played very well yesterday, yeah. I thought um, just the way he approached his innings as well, he seemed, from the outside anyway, to be a lot more positive with the way that he, that he played. And he, he went in early on and got a, a couple of nice drives down the ground, got himself, uh, got himself moving. He used his feet really well against Swan. Um, yeah, he looked a lot more assured yesterday than he probably has for the, the series so far, which is a great sign. He's worked exceptionally hard on his game this week. I'm not sure how much you guys have watched, but he's done a lot of batting in the nets. Um, to, to get himself feeling like he's in, in really good form. And I think uh, he showed yesterday with a lot of hard work um, just what sort of player he can be for the team. I mean, he was pretty devastated last night to get out when he did, having done all that hard work, but that's the game. If he keeps putting in the work that he's put in this week, then I'm sure you'll see him keep scoring runs.